All right, what is going on guys it is the clarify hopefully you guys are all having a fantastic day night whatever time you guys watch today's video we are back with part eight of danganronpa v3 killing harmony uh last time we left off uh it pretty much was everybody was interrogating um everybody was interrogating ganta for killing uh rantero so pretty much we're just gonna move forward from that i feel like last like when we stopped last time it just like I was so tired like I just didn't want to play anymore so I really felt like I needed to keep playing this so let's talk to Angie I don't know if I remember talking to her or not oh Atua please let Rantero enter heaven safe and sound oh yeah we did talk we did talk to her that's right we can't open that door oh excuse me Okay, we haven't talked to everybody yet. We talked to her. Let's go upstairs. I guess, I mean, I'm surprised we can even go up here and leave the, uh... Oh, let's see, uh, what did, what did Mr. Evil Genius over here have to, uh, do? Oh, investigating together, are we? You two sure have gotten awfully chummy. Are you here alone, Kokochi? Hmm, yeah, why? We all agreed to investigate with at least one other person. Oh, did we? Well, just because we agreed doesn't mean we have to do it, right? Why would you do something that would make everyone suspicious of you? Because I'm an evil supreme leader, remember? I'm supposed to be suspicious. Anyway, there's something I wanted to ask you. What were you doing at the time Rantero was killed? Oh, an interrogation from the ultimate detective himself. What a rare opportunity. Then I'll gladly answer to t I was in the library, smashing Rantero's head. Hey, quit screwing around and take this seriously. Why, do I really need to tell you guys what I was doing? What? If I gave you my honest answers now, it'd just make everything boring, right? I'd rather just tell you at the class trial. That would be way more fun. The trial is going to be boring anyway, since we'll have photo evidence. What, what are you saying? I'm just saying this is a game. Let's have some fun with it. This isn't a game. Rantero was murdered. All our lives are at stake. Exactly. It's a game of life or death. I'm so excited. I want the class trial trial to start already. Is Kokoshi actually enjoying the situation? He's an odd one, I'll give him that. So Kai, let's look around the school building for now. Okay, so we need to stay inside. Uh, we don't need to go in the restrooms, I don't think. Uh, let's check the cafeteria. Um, okay. So it seems like certain places are not related to the case. Um, in the hallway? Interesting. Can we go upstairs? Oh, it's in bed. We have to stay on the first floor. Okay. I assume that, nope, not related to the case. So we need to find something on the first floor that, oh, wait a minute, I know where I think I need, I think I know where I need to go. I think I do. Yep, I figured. Oh, there's actually people in here. Kaede, Sh Shuichi. I would like to ask you two a question. You were on lookout inside this classroom, right? Yeah, from here we could see uh, an eye on the basement and it was close to the library too. Yeah. That's our alibi. We were both in this classroom when the murder when the murder occurred. I see. The probability that you two committed the crime is extremely low. By the way, were you two together the entire time? No, I did leave for a bit to see what was happening in the basement. But besides that, we were together the whole time until the receiver went off. 
Yeah, that's right. Thank you very much. I understand. Thank you very much. Lookout classroom has been added to the truthful section of your monopad. Is that all you wanted to ask? Um, oh, may I ask you one more question, specifically about that vent? By the way, it appears to be connected to this classroom. The air duct in the basement always leads to it. That's... Yes, I was also concerned about this vent. That's why we kept watching this in this classroom. Because the culprit wouldn't be able to use this vent if we're in here on lookout. That's right. Under those circumstances, it would be difficult to sneak into the library from here. Okay. Kaede stacked up the books in front of the library vent as well. With those in the way, it would have been even harder for someone to get in and out. I'll commit that to my memory. Or go in and out, whatever. Really, I will be sure to save that important piece of information in my memory bank. Classroom vent, is, classroom vent has been added to the truthful section of your monopath. Had to burp again. I hope my line of questioning has not offended either of you. It is necessary so that we may find the truth. Kibo, you're totally, you totally just sound like a detective or a lawyer just now. Oh, maybe you were a detective or a lawyer in your past life. A past life? How can I have a past life when I'm not made from human components? Let me guess, you wish to hear my alibi, yes? Huh? Huh? How'd you know? My appearance and actions thus far suggest I am someone who would commit a murder. At least he's self-aware. Uh, that's a he? So, to briefly state the truth, when the body discovery, when the body, body discovery announcement played, I was in the dining hall eating supper. The other people were there with me. The other people there with me were Mio, Kurumi, and uh, Sugumi. The monocubs prepared the meal for me. It was listed on the menu as pasta that tastes like a lonely old lady eating her grandkids' birthday cake. Ah, uh, what? Or some such. That pasta is depressing. That concludes my alibi. I do hope it can be of some help. And what about the people around you? Did you did you notice anything in particular? Ah, if there was something to note, it would be that Miu was tinkering with something or other. It, there was also a brief period of time where Sugumi left to use the restroom. The restroom, hmm? Interesting. Well, Sugumi is the ultimate cosplayer. She could have gone to the bathroom to secretly disguise herself as someone else. Someone else, but who? I don't know, but I'll go talk to her. She should be at the crime scene in the library. Uh, Corey Keo's account, ha account has been added to the truthful section of your monopod. Talk to Shuichi. Is that all right? Let me ask these two what they were doing in the bot when the body discovery announcement played. Why is there something I need to check still? Hey Kibo, what were you doing where- Oh, I gotta ask him now. Hey Kibo, what were you doing and- What were you doing and where- Where during the body discovery announcement? My- my alibi. Um, are you glitching right now? No, I'm just searching for the right words. In all honesty, I was alone in my room, so I admit my alibi is not together, all, not altogether reliable. So you don't have an alibi. But Ryoma said he was alone in his room too. Jeez, way to throw him under the bus. Not that that was not my intention. But I see both Kibo and Ry uh, Kibo and Ryoma don't have an alibi. That means it's possible one of those two is the mastermind. Um. Am I under suspicion because I don't have an alibi? No, I won't suspect you just because you don't have an alibi. And I'm not saying that because you're a robot or anything. I'm not robophobic at all. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, but you don't need to be so PC. Kibo's account has been added to the truthful section of the monopod. We leveled up. Putting aside the thing about Sugumi, now we know everyone's alibi. What about Kokochi? We don't need to ask him. He was definitely alone. Everyone was talked to. Jeez. 
Everyone we talked to hadn't seen him, so no one c would collaborate. <laughs> corroborate. Uh, I don't even know what I'm saying. Corroborate his alibi, right? But that means we must have. S he must have been alone. Oh, you're right. I guess that's why you're the detective and I'm not. Oh, jeez. So I swear, spicy food makes me so burpy and gassy. Alright, let's go downstairs to the library. So now we need to go speak to Sagumi or... or I, I'm not good at these names, I swear. Um... Hey, Sugumi, I need to ask you something. Um, she looks like she's busy thinking about something, so she won't talk to me. Okay, that's no excuse to give up. I grabbed the hem of Sugumi's skirt and began to lift it slowly. Got it? I'm gonna lift your skirt, Sugu- Oh, God. I'm gonna lift your skirt, Sugu- <laughs> so oh, I don't even know her name. You okay with that? Wait, Kayade, <laughs> you better talk or I'm gonna lift your skirt for, Sh uh, for Shuichi to see. And then I'm going to tie your skirt around your head and everyone can see your panties. <laughs> I, understand. I understand. I just need to talk, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, t long enough. Mm. Well, I can't let Shuichi's innocent eyes get dirty. Ah, no, they won't get dirty. Shuichi. Are you saying you've seen dirtier Shuichi? What's wrong? What did you want to talk about? You know? I'm just going to cut to the chase since you're the ultimate cosplayer. That means you could have disguised yourself as anyone, even one of us, right? Oh, so that's what you think of me. Well, since we're in this situation, I'll be clear. That's impossible. I only cosplay fictional characters. I don't cosplay real people, or rather, I can't. Um, you can't? Isn't it easy just to wear someone else's clothes as a disguise and... Is. Cosplay isn't a disguise. Huh? Oh, sorry. Well, you're probably... You'll probably have a hard time believing me if I just say it, so I'll show you. Um, show me how. Come on, Kaede. Oh, uh, wait. Sugumi grabbed me by the hand and dragged me to the girls' bathroom on the first floor. Um, Are you gonna punch me or tie me up? Now. Hey, now, there's no way. There's no way I'd do a thing like that. Hey. Now hurry up and take your clothes off. Wait, what? Huh? What? Why? Uh, Oh, well, because I'm, I'm going to cosplay as you, of course. Now give me your clothes. Huh? Huh, but... Right? Come on, come on, hurry up. Huh? What? I slowly undressed and handed my clothes to Sugume. Or, I don't even know how to say her name. After telling me to look the other way, I waited while she changed into my clothes. Yeah. Okay, now you can look. Huh? Huh? A gross, bumpy rash has spread across uh, a Samuji's body. We exchanged our clothes and returned to the library where Shuichi was waiting. Uh, okay then. What happened? Kaede, what's wrong? So Sugumi couldn't have disguised herself. Yeah. You understand you saw the cosplay, right? Cosplay is love. You're right. You breathe life into characters. It's almost like you're summoning them. From fiction to the real into the real world, like an oracle channeling the gods. That's why I can cosplay various characters from across the world wide of fiction. But it's impossible to cosplay as someone who exists in the real world. Because that's not cosplay, that's just impersonating somebody. I really didn't need that long explanation. Ding dong, bing bong. Huh? Huh, this chime.
It's time, you bastard. It's time for the long-awaited class trial. No, it's not. We're just announcing that the photos are ready. Don't interrupt me. Anyway, I'll be waiting at the warehouse. Huh? Hey, does my face look weird to you? Has my face always looked this weird? It, that, what he said. What they said. So long, farewell. Did you hear that, Shuichi? The pictures have finally been developed. Let's go. Come on. Get a move on. Uh, wait, Kaede. I ran as fast as I could to the school warehouse. I couldn't stay put knowing that the truth was so close at hand. Kind of interested to see what they're going to show us. I ran a full sprint to the warehouse. Wait! Ah, wait, Kaida, you shouldn't get so worked up. I can't help it. We're so close to learning the truth. We're going to find out who the mastermind is. Oh, you came! Sure did. I came, I came to see you, toots. <laughs> you're as lovely as always. Oh, Monosuka, you're such a flirt. Ah, may I join you for a drink? Drink as much as you want. I've got cash to burn. Thank you. Excuse me, can we get a bottle here? <laughs> this is great. How long are you guys going to do this for? T take these. They, it's all the fo it's all the photos. They're separated in envelopes for each car a camera. Use them to take that bastard down. It, it's all up to you now. Dead. Dumbass. Pff, I'm so rich. What a jur What's a journalist gonna do about it? Nothing. That's what. By the way, Monofami, you want to get out of here after your shift ends? <laughs> I want a fancy steak dinner. What's your name and age? Home district salary. Do you have another job? What? So confusing. Anyway, it looks like we have the pictures now. Yeah, finally. Kaede, are those the developed photos? The culprit should be in one of those photos, right? <laughs> How exciting. I want to see the dumb look on the culprit's face. Alright, let's take a look. Let's look at the photos taken by the camera near the front entrance first. The envelope says front entrance has a total of four pictures. Let's see the first picture. This is when we arrived at the library, so it took a picture then. Yeah, that's. this is right before we found Rantero's body. That's a pretty bad picture of me, but don't focus on it too much, okay? Of course. Rest assured, we do not care. Alright, let's go to the next one. Um, um this is... This? It's a picture of us running into the library after we heard Tinko scream. That doesn't help us at all. Hurry up and show us the next picture. Yeah, yeah okay. This is everyone else who came to the library after the body was uh, body discovery announcement. Yeah. Everyone pictured here, myself included, was on our way to the basement. So we got there a bit late. You know, hey, these are all pictures of when we found the body. There is one more photo of the front entrance, correct? Yeah, yeah let's take a look at that one. Huh? huh? Shuichi. Oh. Sorry, it looks like I tripped one of those sensors when I was removing the cameras. What are you saying? Um, this picture doesn't ha seem to have any clues that will help us either. The camera pointed at the front entrance only snapped these four pictures. Front entrance photos have been added to the truthful section of your monopad. Neither Rantero nor anybody else who could be the culprit are, s are in the... Oh, jeez. Are in the photos. Hey. Did they both enter the enter through the back door, then? Let's examine the photos taken by the camera near the rear entrance, then. Yeah. Hmm, only two photos were taken by the camera pointed at the rear entrance. 
Um, let's see the first picture. Rantero. So Rantero went through the rear entrance, perhaps so no one would see him. I thought it might be possible that he was moved to the library after being murdered. But that does not appear to be the case. So that means he was killed in the library after going there uh, going there of his own will. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. Maybe it'll show the mastermind. Sorry, me again. This is from when I was removing the camera. Yeah, what an attention hog. He had no choice to remove the cameras. He had to be close to the sensors. I believe there's one more section of pictures though. That's all of the rear entrance. That's all for the rear entrance, just these two photos. Rear entrance photos have been added to the truth bullet section of your monopad. Culprit not in rear entrance photo either? What does this mean? They're not in either the front or the rear entrance pictures. Yeah, that's pretty odd. Why isn't there a picture of the mastermind entering? Hey, hey Shuichi, don't you think that's weird? Let's look at the pictures from the hidden door camera. That might tell us something. Oh yeah, that camera should have been captured at the moment the mastermind opened the door. I hope that was the case. I rem I hope that was the case as I removed the photos from the envelope. There were two photos. The first one was Rantero. But if Rantero was the one who moved the bookcase, then. He must have known about the hidden door. Could, it be... Could the culprit have gone into the hidden door? Yes, that is a possibility. For now, let's see the next picture. There is one remaining, isn't there? Oh, yeah, there. It, yeah, here it is. What? Huh, what's Rantero doing? It looks like he's reaching for the camera. Maybe he was trying to remove it. Ah, I did notice something while I was removing the camera. The security sensor for this, the security sensor for this camera was switched off. In that case, the photo, the photo was likely taken just before the sensor was turned off. So that would mean Rantero noticed it. He saw our hidden camera. Moving the bookcase triggers the sensor, in which the tur in turn activates the camera. Right? And the bookcase appears to have already been moved. So why did the sensor activate? Who cares? What happened to the culprit? How come they're not in any of the photos? This is the last photo that must have been taken shortly before Rintero was killed. If so, then the culprit should be pictured right behind him in this picture. In this photo. Then why is the culprit nowhere to be seen? Hidden door photos have been added to the truthful section of your monopad. That's all the photos. So we gained no new, new uh, no new clues, and we still don't know who the culprit is. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking waste. Why? Did she really develop all the photos? Maybe she got rid of the ones that showed the culprit. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> how rude. I developed all the film that I was given. I swore by my almighty daddy that I did. Those are all the photos in the hidden camera, so relax and get to deducing. These are seriously all the pictures? You gotta be kidding me. The culprit's not in any of them. If the culprit didn't go to the library, then how'd, how'd they kill Rantero? Eh, so maybe... So this must... So this must be what they call... Perfect crime. Huh? A perfect crime? Oh man. I've only been slacking off because I thought those photos would reveal the culprit. No. You should have been helping us investigate. Oh, by the way. Rantero had his monopad the whole time, didn't he? Do you think any do you think anything was in it? I do not agree. His student handbook did not contain much in the way of pertent information. I doubt it was anything to do with the case. He simply had his monopad with him. Okay. I inspected his monopad, but I didn't find anything suspicious about it. Oh man, so it's not it's got nothing to do with the case. How confusing. Are you okay? Hi there, are you okay? Uh, why why aren't they in the pictures? If the mastermind had these photos, it would would have 
would have solved everything. So why the hell? Uh, um... Kaede. Ding dong, bing bong. Oh boy. Please assemble in front of the Shrine of Judgment in the courtyard. Remember that red door surrounded by plants? It's just on the other side. From there, you'll be escorted to a delightful class trial. <laughs> See you all there. So it looks like we're about to do the class trial. Huh? To time already. It seems we have no choice but to continue the discussion at the class trial. Sai, I don't want to go. Me neither. What a pain. <laughs> what, you scared an NPC like you has nothing to be scared of? It'll be fine. I just feel like my back is up against the wall. We just need to expose the mastermind in this class trial. And then everything, including this killing game, will come in. That's right. That's right. Let's find this master Ryan. If it's a man, let's beat him to death. Jeez. Isn't beating him to death a going a bit too a bit far? Everyone followed Monokuma's instructions and walked towards the courtyard. Let's see what Shuichi's got to say. Kaede, really? Are you okay? Sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to worry you. I'm just shocked. I'm just so shocked. I really thought that everything would have resolved. Would have. Uh, I really thought that everything would be resolved once we looked at the photos. But I can't give up. I can still expose the mastermind in this class trial. And then everything, even this killing game, will come to an end. Yeah. I'm okay now, Shuichi. Yeah. Let's go. It's the red door in the courtyard, right? Oh wait, I'm going the wrong way. Wait, can I? I think I can just make it through to the cafeteria, can I? Oh, so you have to actually go outside. Okay. Because I know there's a door from the dining hall that actually takes you outside. So it looks like we're actually going to be doing the class trial in this episode, which is awesome. So there's a red door in the court. Oh, that's it right there. Is that it? So I'm gonna, hold on a second. I'm, I'm gonna make a save just in case. Cause I don't know how these class trials are gonna work. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna do a save and then I'm gonna take a quick break and I'll come right back. The video is still gonna go on. Just give me one second, I'll be right back. All right, and I am back. Uh, for my little quick bathroom break uh so we're about to take part in the first class trial let's see how it goes this is the red door right hey. ah kaede i have one more question mm. do you really think it's one of us not just the culprit but the mastermind as well huh, huh? isn't that what you told me shuichi uh, okay. yes but it's just that that was my only deduction. I don't know if I should trust that. Well, I don't know if it's true either. But that's why we need to confirm it. If you if you just dismiss a possibility and look the other way without confirming anything, then you then you're just turning your back on the truth. What's the matter? What's the matter, Shuichi? You seem so sure of yourself during the investigation. Ah, uh, sorry. Let's go. I'm sure they're waiting for us inside. What? So, this is the Shrine of Judgment. Everyone. Careful, everyone. If bad things happen, get behind Gonta. Then give me a piggyback ride. Come on, carry me. Bitch. Oh my god, you're so fucking annoying. So are we doing the class trial here or what? No, no Monokuma made it sound made it sound like we'd be guided somewhere from here. 
but Monokuma is nowhere to be seen. What's going on? This Monokuma statue gives off such a weird vibe. Boom, 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 da boom, da boom, da boom. Huh? What, what, what? Um, is this an elevator? Does he want us to board it? I don't wanna. I don't do scary rides. I don't wanna get on it either. Stay behind then. Th though I'm sure that'll just be worse for you in the end. Yeah, that's true, I know. However, if everyone wishes to run away, I will cooperate as well. That'll probably- that's probably not a good idea. There's nowhere to run. As long as that end wall exists, escape's not an option. It'll be fine. Let's all work together. Remember our promise we're going to escape this place and remain good friends afterwards? So let's do it. I'm sure we'll be alright. Mm -hmm. Because we make such an incredible team. Huh, I wouldn't be able to call myself a man if I, w if I was still scared after hearing a girl say that. Bring it. I'll show them how. I'll show them how. Kai Kaito Momoto. Momota, luminary of the stars, live. Do you mean die? Don't say something all ominous like that. Nah, we've come so far already. We just gotta do it. So let's do it. We have no choice. We can't turn back now. Determined, we all stepped forward. Even as we walked toward the elevator, I was shaking with anxious dread. But I kept going. Because I decided to fight. And then everyone had boarded the elevator. Interesting. Oh, that's super cool. It's actually an elevator. Even so. This elevator is going pretty far down. <laughs> we have fallen. I wonder how far we will fall. Uh, we suddenly have to go to the bathroom real fast. By all means, go ahead. What? Of course. A robot wouldn't understand how inappropriate that is. As we waited to reach our destination, I whispered to Shuichi. Um, Shuichi? About that talk from before. What? I think everyone is afraid of learning the truth. But the people who are willing to find the truth are the ones who can decide their fate. You never know the lies from the truth, and you can't choose a path. You won't even know you're on a path. So... Fight for the truth, even if it is frightening. I know you can do this. If you're scared, follow the strength of others who will be there to help you. Think of everyone you're helping, and let that be your strength. I used to be like you. Before a piano concert, I was always so nervous that I thought I would vomit. But then I would remember all the people I've made smile with my performances. Alright, let's go. It's better to end bad stuff like this as soon as possible. Wow. Those words were mainly for me. To inspire me, so I sh I would not turn back. After some time, the elevator finally came to a halt. The door slowly opened to reveal what awaited us on the other side. Why, hello there. Welcome to the class trial. Yay! Oh boy, the class trial is finally starting. Finally, it actually feels like a game. I just as the prophecy foretold. Listen up, from here on things are going to get so violent you'll wish you could turn back. No that that's not true. They won't be any gory or violent scenes. I'm positive. This is 
This is an authentic replica of a courtroom. Hmm, what bad taste. Why are you making us do this? Is this fun for you? Of course, putting strangers in life or death scenarios is the best entertainment. You're the worst of the worst. You are seriously the worst. <laughs> worse or not, those who have fun are the real winners in this world. It doesn't matter what terrible things you do or are done to you, as long as you're having fun. Oh, I see. Wow, this is so sickening. I'm almost re it's almost refreshing. So, how do we get this game going? Well, now. There are podiums over over there. Please stand by. The one with your name on it. Following Monokuma's instructions, we headed to our respective podiums. As I walked towards my podium, an image of, of his body flashed my mind. Rantero. He died without knowing his own ultimate talent. Now, no, he was murdered by some horrible lowlife scumbag. I'll never forgive his killer. That's why. We're going to expose the mastermind and end this killing game. That's all I can do for Antero now. His killer is in this room with us. The mastermind who's controlling Monokuma and forcing us to play this game. I don't think I'll ever be fully prepared to find out who that person is. But we have to find out who it is so we can lift our suspicions of each other. So we can end this killing game. That's why I'm here. I can't show any fear here. I must fight till the bitter end. I will face this life or death clash trial. Let us save. We're going to create a new save file as well. Just in case. 